Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in the How to Stock Market series. For this one, over uh, an article from Business Insider. The title is called Best Buy is the Latest Victim of the Retail Apocalypse. So basically what this article addresses is that the retail sector is in a lot, is in a lot of trouble right now. In the past week, Best Buy specifically down almost 10%, uh, dropped by 8%, so from, dropped from 57, 53, 90, pretty, this type of stock a very well-known stock used to be a pretty big company has still is somewhat big but it's currently on a it's currently dropping all these uh, all these uh say profitability of the company Amazon. Oh, sheesh. we'll go over this article fairly quick. Um, at its first investor day since 2012, the company issued a long term forecast that it fell short of analyst expectations. And um, there's a lot of fear from their competition from other platforms such as Amazon which will eat into future profits and if you guys really think about it it does make sense because everything that you can buy from Best Buy you can also buy from Amazon as well and it's not like the price is cheaper when you go to Best Buy the price is um, Exactly the same almost fairly same um you might even find better deals on Amazon depending on um um their deals of the day or maybe someone is selling it for a lower price so by that um Amazon's clearly. The victor and they're kind of eating into the share of their of Best Buy's profits because they have such similar products pres present on Amazon and it's more efficient and they also have a larger of uh, various supplies that people are interested in. Um, the reaction from investors was swift and punishing as Best Buy stock dropped as much as 10% to 51.61 on my uh, stock scanner it shows that it's currently at 53 but maybe could be wrong pretty sure this is right my broker just sucks he didn't update it in the aftermarket sure <clears throat> So this um the current um valuation dropped by one point seven billion in the market value at its low for the day. Analysts surmised that it was the company's fiscal twenty twenty one revenue and profit estimates that drew the ire of traders. Best buy forecasted sales that sales Best Buy forecasted that sales would hit thirty two billion by then, which comes out to a two an annual compound annual growth rate which is not a great number going beyond sales market analysts highlighted Best Buy's earning estimate of four dollars and seventy five cents to five dollars a share which he said implied a growth rate of eight to nine percent and that's below investors 
location. I mean, so yeah, I mean, it does make sense. Amazon is currently the high, one of the uh, highest priced stocks. If we look at Amazon right now, it's currently at uh, $953 per share. Meanwhile, all these other retailers are only around the twenty to fifty dollar range. You even look at um, the biggest retailer right now, like Walmart. That's a uh, seventy nine, and it's been consistently dropping past month, past three months. It was up six percent. Last year it's up 13. Apparently it's on a pretty big swing, or yeah, swing trade. So it's kind of evening back out, but even then it's not a consistent growth. It's been fluctuating from support to resistance levels within the past couple of years. So that just um goes type of market that these Killers are in right now. This article also states that the uh, Best Buy's forecast doesn't stop them from trying to improve their business models, trying to approach a strategic move. And they announced that an expansion to its same day delivery service. So they're planning to. And okay, in late August, so it's already going on right now. You guys are. Uh, products in the day. In a range of same day delivery service. But then again, even with Amazon Prime, you can within two I don't think that's really a big deal for me personally and it'll most likely be more expensive for people to <clears throat> get delivered delivery service from these retailers I'm assuming Even with the stock's decline, some analysts remain bullish on the stock's prospects. He praised that the company's strategy of investing in its own business, saying that it's the right way to go about things. So their investment profits back into the business, but I mean, I don't want to say improve the business model. See it really doing much compared to what Amazon's currently doing, and even like companies such as Alibaba. So who knows? Right now, I can't really say I'm bullish on it. <clears throat> the company itself also remains confident, which is, I mean, that's just. Assume that the company would be themselves because it is their own company, and to say that your company is going to fail wouldn't be the right mindset to have. Um, they say that it's grown domestic sales in each of the past three years and beat analyst revenue estimates. He points. Uh, to Best Buy's huge online growth numbers and the company has already increased its financial guidance for 17 so yeah guys I mean am, I mean Best Buy is in quite a bit of trouble right now <clears throat> maybe in my uh Swing back up, maybe in my uh, consolidate at this level, this point over here, around the 50, lower 50 range, and maybe it could bounce back. If you guys are investing in stock, I wouldn't say too well yet, but 
once it drops from the 50 to this uh, previous support levels at around 50, below 50, and that may be something to really consider. The current market cap is at 17.46 billion. Volume is really, really low. So that can't be good. Overall, I would say that the reason in general is a difficult time with competitors such as Amazon, and I don't really see for these forwards their business models. You can also look at other retailers such as Walmart, Walgreens, Friday. Right, a lot of these companies are fairly close to going into bankruptcy and they're losing a lot of profit. Online competitors, which overall provides a efficient uh, for their customers. So, prospects will be. But I. Can't really say I'm bullish on it. I would say there's a lot way more opportunity. Online retailer. Me. Uh, I hope this uh this video helps some of you out on why uh Best Buy ten percent this past week on and the week of September, mid-September. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or video ideas, comments below, and I'll uh, look into your guys' comments and maybe even create a video on it but yeah hope you all enjoyed hope you guys thought this video was helpful in any way shape or form please invest intelligently or trade intelligently and follow on the next one. thank you all bye